Let's continue with the understanding of the... Let's continue with the understanding. If we as humankind realize that we are spiritual being, evolving through the element of form, learning and extracting the necessary materials in which to create ourselves into material form, as plants within the Earth's geological time periods, between the Phanozoic Eon a richly biological eon expressing visible life and the Paleozoic time period ancient life traced within this eon. As life form evolved for the first time to sizes that could be seen without a microscope, Thinking on a much broader scope with reference to humankind's beginnings, we can just envision how we as humans were at our spiritual form and had to create a way to create a vessel in which to live in our new form life within the Milky Way galaxy and within the solar system on the planet Earth. We as spiritual aliens created from the raw materials of the planet Earth's environment plane via water blue-green algae started to evolve branching through evolution into plant life rapidly evolving through these major plant life forms the earliest plants consisted mostly of algae moss and fern and plants and animals diversified into the great multiplicity of species known today paleozoic means ancient life in green Paleozoic life form, most of which are now extinct, are known from the fossil records. The earliest plants consisted mainly or mostly of algae, moss, and ferns. Animal life was confined at first mostly to the water, worms, arthropods, triobites, snails, and slugs, along with few very primitive fish. Later, the amphibians, reptiles, and insects appeared on land, while fish and land plants underwent rapid development. Most of the major groups of plants and animals evolved during the Paleozoic era. Mild climates and generally encroaching seas characterized the earlier Paleozoic. The seas of the Cambrian and Audiovision periods teemed with life. Dominating the seas were such creatures as the arthropod, called the triobites predecessors of the spiders and lobsters, and the cephalopods, ancestors of the nautilus and the squid, be half-shelled animals that still exist. Fish dominated the sea in the late Paleozoic, and the Devonian period is often called the age of fish, but during this period the first vertebrates Primitive amphibians also appeared, and forests of giant tree-like ferns grew on the land. Australopithecus The most significant product of evolution early in this epoch was Homo erectus, a direct descendant of modern humans. By the end of the epochs, Homo sapiens, the species of today's humans, had appeared. Both of these primates originated in Africa and possibly Asia. And by the end of the epochs, Homo sapiens had spread to Europe and the Americas. Let's continue with...